Okay, we've got our EDC 17. And it is a, what is it? TC 1796. We have our ground, 1000K. And now, when we click on read, we've actually got the password. Okay, so it says that we can't talk to it, but now if we disconnect the boot pin, leave it up, and we go down to bench, and we click on read, It will read it but if we put the boot pin on it will not read is there a different wiring diagram when you're doing boot mode okay folks today we're trying to use the abritus control unit programming tool um, what I do is I download the file in PDF and then I go up to the find and we're working on a 2009 I think it is um, Jetta so I wanted to show you a couple of things one see how it says EDC 17 CP 14 if you type that into the um, search and you go next you will get the pin out for this and just so you know power ground that's ignition but it's actually power and that's can high can low and these are the t1 t2 don't ask me what the hell those do and also if you go down just a little bit it gives you the boot pin so now we have done that on our edc 17 cp 14 and now I wanted to show you something else so if you go into the ECU reading tools and doing all of that that works just fine but there's also something else now you can tell that I've got the breakout box and I've got power going to the breakout box so what we're gonna do Oh, yeah. But that's a Volkswagen. That's not an Audi. They're both the same thing. If you look at the top, it says bag. So. Something that I found out the other day. Just by doing it. If you go to special functions. And you go to. Engine control. See how it says EDC boot mode? Okay. So, if you notice, it says TC1796. And I'm sorry. That's not a very good picture. But what I wanted to show you, if you go back... I guess I closed it but if you go back to the manual it shows you what um, chip 
is in your ECU. And this is a TC1796. So first thing you do is find out where your damn thing is. Click connect. Watch what happens. Boot pin connection okay. Boot software uploaded. And the reason I'm saying this is because I found a quick and easy way to change stuff. So what you do is, if you have the original ECU, you read the configuration data, and then you read the flash, and you read the external flash, and you do all of that, right? So then, what you do, see this little button that says clone ECU? This is where it gets pretty good. So what you do is you go in here, and if you notice, I've got a bunch of files there. Well, you load the files from the original ECU, and I'm going to do that, and then I'll start back up. And I wanted to show this because... See how it says original ECU flash dump? That is going to be the program flash. So you load the program flash of the original. And then you're going to load the ECU EEPROM. And this is what kind of got me. Because it wasn't really the EEPROM. See how it says 128K? So, that one is okay. If you try and put the wrong one in there, it'll say failed. So now, we're going to go, and this is our used one, and we're going to use not the program, and not the, oh shit, okay, it's program flash, it's a 2048, but not the external, and those are originals. So then, it's kind of like the flash and the EEPROM. So now we're going to go down to the original. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be on the used. So what you do is you go to, see how this one says original and this one says used. And it's 128K. That's the one you use there. And then the replacement, sorry, I might have screwed that up. You go to, see how it says used, and it's not the external. Okay, that's the used, and it's 2048. Okay, so now that you've done that, now you're going to generate an EEPROM dump for the ECU. And you do need to have internet. And then it'll say, do you want to save it? So yeah, we're going to save it. And I'm actually going to change that a little bit and call it number three. Because it took me a couple of times before I figured this shit out. Okay, so now that you've done that, you exit out of that box. See, this is where it gets good. If you read the configuration data from the used unit, in fact, here, let me show you something. So if you open, if you load from file, and you go down to the used, Okay, and now we need to go to the 128K bin, and then we'll open that up. Now, see the VIN number? That's the VIN number of the used ECU. Now watch this. When we go, and we, remember the one we just made, which was we labeled it number three? So we loaded, we loaded the original, I call it the EEPROM and the flash, and we did the same for the new used, and it generated a file. So now, 
we're going to open it. And if you notice, it's got the changed VIN number and everything. So it has gone in there and changed the data so that you can clone the ECU. And is this possible on some of the ECUs that have OTP, one-time programmable? Well, hey, we're going to go find out. We'll let you know. Okay, so we are at the, it's actually a 2009 um, Jetta with the TDI. And this is the original ECU. And now we are going to give it the ultimate test. Will it say a mobilizer active? Holy crap. Well, sir, <laughs> you know, every once in a while I get a little pissy with a Britus, but I can tell you right now, this is the most awesome, the most awesomest tool I've ever used. <laughs> so what we did, we opened this up, used the ground pen, we read this, saved the files, there was three of them. One that I call the EEPROM, but they call it like the program, whatever. And then there's two flashes, uh, internal and external. And we did the same for the used one. If I can get my fat butt up and out of here. And just so you know, we're on the back side of the garage. This one's been sitting for a while because they couldn't find an ECU. But that is our used ECU. We went ahead and we read the data from both ECUs, ran it through the tool, it made a file, which I consider the EEPROM, the smaller 128K file, and then we moved it over. Guess what? Walked up, put it in, no immobilizer active, mm, nothing like that. Bing, bang, boom. Oh, Jesus. My job just got easy. <laughs> Thank you, Abritus. And like they always say, bring on the next one. Okay, if you like this video um, and you have kids or something, send them to the link up above. That's my nephew. and He's trying to get his channel going. Good luck.